With over 50 different limited items in big games to my restaurant, there are bound to be some good and bad items, as well as some super rare ones. Today I'll be going over the 3 rarest limiteds. Before I start, you may be asking yourself, what is a limited? Well, oblivious person watching this video, a limited item in my restaurant is basically an item with a limited quantity that goes on sale and will never ever go on sale again, 100%. It's not like any item will go back on sale and this time cost Robux instead of regular money. Also, the market is basically the ripoff version of the Roblox catalog with a couple more glitches. It's kind of like how my restaurant is a ripoff version of Restaurant Tycoon 2, which is a sequel to Restaurant Tycoon, which is a ripoff of Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen. Anyways, on to the rarest limiteds. The third rarest limited is the Market Crash Cactus, and boy does it have a pretty cool backstory. Basically, some genius found an exploit in the market which allowed them to buy any item for free, I believe, so he used it to buy all the eternal statues and coffee machines on the market. A couple of smart people, including myself, seeing this hacker buying coffee machines, immediately invested all of our money in coffee machines, which were going for around 150 million at the time. The hacker continued to buy coffee machines until the prices hit well over 20 billion, and he also bought every single eternal statue on the market, even the 1 trillion dollar ones. But anyways, the people who invested in the coffee machines sold them to the market back to the market for like 1,000 times more than they bought them for. When Preston got back from his 5 hour massage, he saw what the hacker had done and ordered his slave, I mean his ethically paid worker, to shut the game down until they could patch it and reset everyone's cash. Instead of doing a rollback or whatever, David came up with another solution for getting rid of the cash people had gotten from the exploit. He wrote a program that would check everyone's cash value, and if it was 8 times more than the total cash they'd earned from their restaurant, it'd be reset to 4 times the total cash earned, and if it was less than 8 times, they'd get to keep their cash. However, some people got lucky and managed to keep their money, so that's why you can sometimes find people with over a trillion dollars. To get rid of these people's money, David decided to release the Market Crash Cactus. There were 1,000 unique copies and they cost 10 billion each. Nowadays, you can rarely find anyone with them as most owners either sold them to richer people or have quit the game. I myself owned 5 of them but sold 4 of them leaving me with 1. The second rarest limited is the Gravestone. The Gravestone was released as part of the secret Halloween update that came out at 4am and caused half the community to quit. There were only 666 copies ever sold and they costed 25 million each to buy. Nowadays they're going for 8 billion dollars. The rarest limited is the Eternal Statue and now you may be asking yourself, but Raiden Destroyer, if I go to the market there's no section for Eternal Statues. Well you see when the market was first released, the Eternal Statue was one of the limiteds added. Now there were 100 copies and they cost 6 billion dollars to buy. Which is less than the Market Crash Cactus, but you have to remember this was back before dessert bars, candy bowls, gingerbread, arcade machines, and all the other items that make up today's meta. But that still doesn't answer your question, why isn't there any for sale on the market? Well remember when the hacker bought all the statues on the market? Well near the end of his hacking spree he figured out how to dupe the statues and flooded the market with thousands of them. Some people managed to buy thousands of them, I bought around 40 of them. When David released a program to reset everyone's cash, he had also released another program that would turn everyone's eternal statue into a cardboard eternal statue and leave the original ones alone. The program worked, however like its companion it also glitched out, so that if your duped eternal statue was placed down they weren't turned into cardboard ones, and for some people it wouldn't change their statue even if it was in their inventories. The eternal statue was briefly added back into the market, but once David realized the program failed, he removed it permanently this time. Thus, this is why it's the rarest limited, although technically it's more common than the market crash cactus and gravestone as thousands of copies exist, keep in mind that the huge supply of eternal statues belong to only a few individuals and that those statues can never be sold on the market unlike the other two limiteds. To me, the eternal statue is sort of a status symbol, that you were there when the greatest exploit in my restaurant's history happened.